Millions of Americans have embraced the so-called Mediterranean diet. It's a healthy style of eating based on how countries that border the Mediterranean eat. Red wine is part of the diet, but should it be? The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin went in search of some answers. We've long been told that red wine is good for our hearts, but some experts are now questioning that assumption, citing studies that show that no amount of alcohol is safe. So we talked to a researcher looking at red wine and the role that it plays in the Mediterranean diet. Red wine has always been a part of the Mediterranean diet, a heart-healthy style of eating that emphasizes daily doses of whole grains, fruits and vegetables, and plant-based oils, and weekly doses of fish, chicken, eggs, and dairy. In all definitions of the Mediterranean diet, uh, drinking a little bit of wine with meals is included as one of the beneficial aspects of the Mediterranean diet. And Dr. Miguel Martinez Gonzalez, a professor of public health at the University of Navarra in Spain and adjunct professor of nutrition at the Harvard School of Public Health, researches the Mediterranean diet and the question of whether red wine should continue to be a part of this style of eating. You drink it always with meals in small amounts, spread out all over the week, not concentrating on the weekend without any binge drinking. This is important. One study he was part of found that a Mediterranean diet that included alcohol reduced the risk of cardiovascular disease by about 30 percent compared to a low-fat diet that didn't emphasize alcohol. Another found taking red wine out of the Mediterranean diet seemed to reduce its protective effect by about 23 percent. And several other groups have done this with um, observational studies, and they found always that a part of the protection by the Mediterranean diet is, is lost if you remove wine. But the research has always focused on older adults, typically over 50, not younger people. And Dr. Martinez Gonzalez says alcohol is riskier for younger adults, playing a part in about one out of every four deaths, many of them accidental in people ages 20 to 34. So he says when we talk about any possible benefits of consuming wine. But I ain't speaking of older people, not people younger than 30, 35. My piece of advice for people younger than 35 is not consuming alcohol at all, even red wine. And Spanish researchers are now gearing up for the biggest study ever to look at the effects of alcohol on the heart, hoping to enroll 10,000 volunteers. And we're talking about alcohol in moderation with the Mediterranean diet. Most experts recommend that women drink no more than one glass of wine a day, men no more than two. For your Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.